Hello voters, I'm Brian from Canvas Factory. I'm going to show you a couple of different style covers today. A sunshade, we'll talk about installing rod holders and what products we use and why we use them. A 325 Pursuit dual console. It's a used boat, but we're going to do everything we can to keep it nice. The first thing I'm going to show you is Fisher's going to follow me into the cabin here. This boat um, supposedly has, has a lot of air conditioning. So he wanted to AC this because we're in South Florida. Um, this, this product here is white stamoid. We use the real heavy stuff. This is, the, the factory used white stamoid as well. They used the medium weight product. It's called Top. Uh, this is white, not snow white, and it matches the gel coat of this Pursuit really nice. We went ahead and used the 18 ounce stamoid and we did a glue joint. The reason this looks so crappy is this has a protective coating on it. it this is what it's going to look like after it's peeled. But we're sending this boat back to um, Sundance to get some work done to it. And um, I, don't want, I don't want anybody messing it up. So I'm going to leave the protective coating on it until the customer gets it back from his final detail and whatever he's having installed at the dealer. So I'm gonna show you something interesting that we did on this particular one. So we used the hard glass, that's 80 gauge acrylic, okay? In my opinion, there's no finer enclosure material than 80 gauge acrylic. This is real easy to do. It's got three snaps on one side, one on the other. Now you could, pin this up, but we didn't want to hide these, these handrails. So we came up with another method. It's so easy, we just slide this out and I put an extra track above this one. And you slide this one in. So that'll store just like that. Now you can come and go if you're not using your air conditioning or you're doing a little fishing. Okay. The next thing I'm going to show you, uh, the customer had his idea of how he wanted to do the bow cover. So let me show you that. A normal bow cover is just a real flat cover that comes to here. But on this particular boat, all the water that washed down the windshield, because there's no lip here for the snaps, it would have just constantly ran onto his upholstery. He had an idea. I had never done it before. But when he mentioned it to me, I thought, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Let's try it. So I'm gonna show it to you. And we're gonna, we're gonna time it. Because, um, you know, everybody's worried about, oh, how hard is that gonna be, you know, for me to put on? How, you know, how much time is that gonna take? Everybody wants things to be easy. So rather than just show you and tell you it's easy, I'm gonna time it. You ready to start the clock, Fisher? Yep, we're going. We're going, okay. So I installed this slide track up here, and this isn't white slide track. This is off-white slide track, and look how nice it matches the gel coat. It, it you know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't look, um, doesn't stand out or anything. Now I have a snap right here, so I know the track is in the right place. Now I'm gonna walk across to the other side of the boat and I'm going to catch this snap on this side okay snap now I'm gonna get back in the boat and I can easily reach this snap here just by bending over and snapping so here's how I'm going to do it I just work my way around from the port side of the boat to the starboard side of the boat. And this customer told me that when he's at his dock, 
he docks his boat starboard side to the dock just the way we have it at my dock here so I made the canvas cover go a little further on this side than the other side because it, it's easy to reach from the dock you ready Fisher yep what's the time that's a uh, a minute and 50 seconds okay so under two minutes show them that cover a lot of times if you've seen bow covers it won't happen if I make it I, I know how to make a bow cover but so many people make a bow cover and they puddle water and this customer was concerned about that so he's never gonna puddle it takes a minute and 50 seconds to put on and he's also shading the windshield which in turn shades his console I thought it was a terrific idea worthy of showing you guys so now we're gonna put the stern curtain on all right so all, all good canvas shops give you a, a canvas bag to store your your covers in so this one's this this bag stores the bow cover as well as the stern curtain now this is another thing that the customer and I talked about and I told him I said I could design this so it's easy for you to put on Fisher's gonna time me putting this one on now. Tell me when you're ready, Fisher. All right, we're ready to go. Okay, here goes. So you slide the track in to the end. It's got a little split in the middle. I didn't install this track. It came from the factory that way. Had I have put it on, it would have had little stainless steel ends at the end of each track. You've seen me do it on other installations. I added a couple of zippers to this side. Takes less than a minute to snap that. Now I've lubricated these snaps already. Even though it's brand new, people are so bad at lubricating snaps. Everybody's like, I hate snaps, I hate snaps. I'm so sick of hearing it. The reason they hate snaps is they've never lubricated a snap in their life. So their snaps are always hard to use. If you lubricate your snaps, you won't be whining about them. I hate snaps. Look how easy my snaps go on. You see that? Look, this is a brand new cover that has, has only had a couple of days to stretch out. Look how easy it goes on, okay? Now I'm gonna come over here this is his um, his dock side, so he can actually do this from his dock if he wants. Start that one. Start this one. See how easy they snap? I hate snaps. They get so hard. Yeah, take a stick of lubrication out once a year. I added a hole for this customer because he bought a pole that um, is going to hold his his um, shore power cord. So his shore power cord is going to come from over there and go through a little holder right here, so it won't rub on his canvas or his boat. What, what's the time, Fisher? It was two minutes and fifteen seconds. Two minutes and 15 seconds, okay? Who can't take two minutes and 15 seconds to cover the boat? Now, I worked up a sweat, but I bet it's like 95 degrees out. It's the end of May, and it's been raining straight for three days, so there's so much humidity in the air. Step back, Fisher, and show them what the boat looks like covered. Okay, now we're gonna show them, we're gonna time taking this thing off. Now I wanted to just show you something. This customer's keeping his boat in the water. See how we left his cleats exposed? Both his stern cleats are exposed so he can tie up at any dock. The midship, the midship cleat is exposed. Here, 
Here's another midship cleat. Pursuit gives you two midship cleats and his bow cleats are exposed. So this cover will work on a lift or in the water. In this particular case, it's gonna be in the water. Now, we're gonna do a timed video of taking both these covers off. We used Captain Navy Sombrella here. I, I, I love all my materials. I love Weblon, Stamoid, Sombrella. I use them all, I like them all, but I feel there are certain applications for certain products. I told you I used Stamoid for that enclosure. My favorite material for a glue enclosure. I'm not gonna use Stamoid for a boat cover. It doesn't breathe. Why put it on there and then have to vent it and hope that it, it vents enough? Sombrella, that's all I use for boat covers, unless somebody makes me use Stamoid. This material breathes, it doesn't mildew. You'll get 10 years plus out of this material, even in South Florida. Probably in the northern states, you'd get even more. But that's enough talking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it off now. You ready, Fisher? Yep, timer started. Okay, here we go. So, I pull these snaps. You ready? These snaps are lubricated. Oh, I hate snaps. Snaps are so hard. Oh, look, oh, look how hard they are. Oh my gosh, snaps are hard. Yeah, can you tell? I'm tired of hearing that. Lubricate your snaps. And you won't have to whine like a baby. Come over here. This cover's off. How long did it take, Fisher? 33 seconds. 33 seconds. Oh, those snaps were so hard. Okay. Here's a zipper. A zipper. Yeah, these snaps are so hard to take off, Fisher. What do you think? Maybe we should have hung some sandbags off the side of the boat. That's a good one for me. When people say, I don't like snaps, could you use sandbags? I say, you better go to somebody else if you want sandbags. Okay, how long, Fisher? 35 seconds. 33 seconds for the front, 35 seconds for the back, 10 seconds for my making fun of people that don't like snaps. Okay. I'm going to bag these two covers now. Here's the back cover. You don't roll it, you don't fold it, you just shove it into the compression bag. It saves time, and then when it's time to put it on, you don't have to unroll it or unfold it. You just dump it out of the bag, and it's ready to go on your boat. Okay, that's it. Now, I'm gonna show you other, another thing on this boat that everybody's calling me about. May, June, July, August, it's a must. This customer also wanted a bow shade. I've showed you lots of bow shades, but I'm gonna show you another one, okay? This boat didn't have forward rod holders. So my son Fisher and I, look how thick Pursuit deck is. That's gotta be over an inch, okay? This is my favorite rod holder. It's the Mate Series rod and cup combination holder. So you can put a cup in here if you're not using it for your sunshade. But that's, that's not even the biggest reason I like it. I like it because you drill a straight down round hole okay then you can take this rod holder and you can put poles in it and you can spin it like a dial before you put these three screws in and decide if you want your rod holder to go straight out or if you want it to go you know at like a 45 half forward half out on this particular boat we decided we wanted to get the width for this big wide seating area so we went straight out with these 15 degree rod holders, which we never do. It's always at 10 o'clock and two o'clock. Almost always. But this particular boat, because it's so wide, we, um, 
we drilled the holes, dropped the rod holders in there, and decided we want these to go straight out. 15 degrees, straight out. See that? Here's your custom padded bag that comes with your poles. And let me tell you something I forgot to say about these Mate Series rod holders. They're such quality, it's unbelievable. When you put one in your hand, it's like you have an anchor in your hand. It's not only solid, but it's 316 grade stainless. And 316 stainless is, is the good stainless. There's, there's some rod hold, holder companies that they'll put 316 where you see it, and then in the rod holder they'll use 304. So you're always getting rust down in here. This whole thing is 316, real quality. Now when you order your Mate Series rod cup holder combination, don't forget to request backing plates, okay? Most boats don't have backing plates. Most boats don't need backing plates, okay? You stick a spinning rod in here, you could self-tap these things in here and they'd last for 20 years. But we're not putting a spinning rod in here. We're putting an inch and a quarter, 316 stainless steel pole, and we're pulling on it all our might. So self-tappers will not suffice. Of course, they, they might have in, in this stuff, you know, that's unbelievable. That's the thickest one I've ever drilled, you know. So, but the backing plate just goes in there. So when you through bolt it, it's just solid as a rock. They're like 10 bucks extra. And instead of using, you know, just a finishing washer, that backing plate just does such a nice job. So that's that's where you, where you want to go. Um, you know, mateseries.com. They've got all kinds of rod holders, zero degrees, 15 degrees, 30 degrees, my favorite rod holder. Okay, now Fisher's gonna time me setting up this sunshade. You ready, Fisher? All right, timer started. All right, timer started, cover's still in the bag. Okay, cover's out of the bag. Now, I gotta determine since it was in the bag, what side goes where? Okay, that's the starboard side. This is the port side. So I got to step up here, and these are my these are my claim to fame. These snap-in mounts. Trust me, canvas shops are going to be copying this. This is the slickest. Look, click. Look, push the button out. Push the button, click. How sweet is that? Now I'm gonna come forward, stick this in the pulley, stick it in the clam cleat, cinch it down, come over here. Put the rope in the pulley, through the clam cleat, then I'm going to pull it real tight and cinch it. Come back over here, tighten up. What's the time, Fish? It was a minute and 25 seconds. A minute and 25 seconds. And this sunshade, it's a big one. It was a um, hundred and 33 inches long. What's that, Fisher, 11 feet? Just about. 11 feet of shade. That's gonna make it nice. For sitting up here, no matter what state you're in, once you determine the length of your poles, we can ship you the poles in the custom padded bag. We'll send you the two mounts for the hard top, all it takes is two screws in each mount. Anybody can do that. And then we send you the string to tie it up and teach you how to give us the four measurements that we need to, to do this. Look how tight it is. 
there's no wrinkles in that thing whatsoever. Now this is um this is white lightweight stand wood. Everybody always asks me, what material do you use? What material do you use? This is expensive material. This material here costs twice as much as Sombrella. But it's it's very dimensionally stable. Like I said, I use all the products. I'm not just in love with Sombrella or just in love with Stamoid. Each product has its application. And for a sunshade, I don't know a better one than the Stamoid. There are a lot of people making mesh sunshades. And um, my brother's one of them. He was making all his sunshades out of mesh. I was making all mine out of solid. So we're comparing notes, and I'm like, why do you do that? And he's like, well, I do it to idiot proof it. Because, see, this is a sunshade. If you left this up to protect your boat, it's flat. Look at it. It would obviously puddle water. Unless you put it on a major pitch, it's going to puddle water. So my brother makes all his out of mesh so nothing can happen like that. So I'm like, okay. So I started asking my customers. Well, my brother makes them out of mesh. I make them out of solid. It's a sunshade. This blocks 100% of the UV rays, 100% of the sun. My brother's material is expensive as well. It's made by the same company that Stamoid's made by. It comes wide like this, um, but it's it's heavier. It doesn't go in as small as of a bag, and it blocks 80% of the sun. So I tell my customers that not a single one has chosen a mesh material yet. They're all happy to have 100% shade and then take it down if it's raining. So I'm going to take this one down now. So Fisher's going to time me taking it down. Okay, you ready, Fish? All right, ready to go. Okay. So I didn't get my ropes ready. That's going to take time off of me. So you just pull the rope out of the cam cleat, out of the pulley. Push the button, pop. Come to this side, push the button. What's the time, fish? 35 seconds. 35 seconds. So everybody asks me, how fast can you go with these things? I don't know, every, every boat's gonna be a little different. You know, I'm sure if you have a seven footer, you could go a little faster than somebody with a, an 11 footer. This one's 11 feet long. I can't imagine, you see how tight it was that you can't go 20 miles an hour with this. Maybe more, you know, but it all depends on the day. Do you have a 10 knot headwind or is it a calm day? And you can run 25. I don't know exactly. So there, it's, it's in the bag. But if you want to go as fast as your boat goes, you just see me take it down in 35 seconds. So you take it down you go fast to wherever you're going, and you can leave these poles where they're at, and then put it back up in 35 seconds. When you get to the next sandbar, or wherever you want it to go, to your next fishing spot, you want it to run fast. Okay, so you see what you get, okay? These aren't the cheapest sail shade on the market. Uh, they're not the most expensive, they're not the cheapest by far. I wasn't trying to make a cheap sunshade. Um, there's, there's ways to cut corners and make it faster, make it cheaper. And my son and I talked about it and said, you know, if people want a cheaper sunshade, let them go get one from someone else. We're going to make the nicest sunshade we can make. 316 stainless, nice pulleys, stamoid material, fit to the nines. Um, it's, it's something that should last you forever. The only thing you could do wrong is stow it away wet and salty. And it might come out of this bag with 
mold and mildew on it. Don't do that. If you stow it away dry, this sunshade should last you forever. So I told you I was going to talk about products. Snap lube. That'll keep you from being a whiny baby. A little bit of snap lube once or twice a year. It doesn't take 10 minutes to do every snap on the boat, but nobody will do it. I don't know why, because it makes putting the cover on easier and taking it off easier every single time. Tell them how to apply it. And you just, you don't put it on the boat, because if you put it on the snap on the boat, you wash your boat, it's gone. You put it on the snap on the canvas. That's where there's a little spring. You don't goop it on there, just a tiny little bit on that spring makes it snap on easy and then you can just snatch them off six eight ten snaps at a time that's all it takes and I give I give my customers one of these every time I build a cover I give them one of these it's got I got my name on it my phone number on it so it's a nice little giveaway and something that they can use and then you can see boatcanvasfactory.com that's my website, Boat Canvas Factory YouTube. You'll see a lot of videos there. Um, I think I covered everything I wanted to cover here today. So, you know, if you want to order one of these, I, it doesn't matter where you are, in what state. If you're a little handy with a tape measure, we could build you one of these as nice as this. Give us a call. The Canvas Factory is located in Pompano Beach, Florida. We have been in business since 1985 and we take pride in our quality custom work. For more pictures, you can visit our website, boatcanvasfactory.com. The link will also be in the description. We specialize in T-tops, biminis, full boat covers, engine covers, sunshades for both the forward and aft of your boat, windshield back covers, bolsters and cushions, helm seat covers, consoles slash instrument covers, enclosures of all sizes including acrylic panels as well as isinglass panels that you can roll up. We also do repairs as well as waterproof your old canvas if the waterproofing has worn out, as well as much, much more. For example, custom barbecue covers, carpet, as well as carpet runners. Give us a call and let us manufacture you an effective and attractive custom work of art for your boat. You can find further contact information in the description.